Hey guys, welcome back to Mind State, where we help you reach your full potential. In today's video, we will be discussing 8 stress relieving benefits of drawing and painting. Stressed? You may need to do some art therapy. Art is not just a means of expression, it can also be used as a method of therapy. Art therapy is popular today because it helps reduce stress and serves as an outlet for emotions and feelings that might otherwise remain bottled up. If you are someone who deals with stress on a daily basis, then the solution to a more relaxed state of mind might lie in art. There are many ways to incorporate art into your life, such as painting, drawing, sewing, or even baking. You can even try out some new hobbies such as photography or writing music. The possibilities are endless when it comes to how you can express yourself through art. If you're feeling stressed out today and looking for ways to relax your mind, consider trying out some different forms of art. It may sound silly at first, but trust me, it works wonders. Here's how art can help you de-stress, calm down, and become a much happier person. Number 1. You get to connect with your inner child and have a fun time. It's easy to get caught up in the idea that art is a skill that you have to learn, and that talent is a requirement for creating beautiful paintings or drawings. But we've got news for you. Talent isn't a requirement for creating art. When we were kids, we didn't have to have any special skills or training to draw or paint. We just did whatever we felt like doing, and it was all beautiful. So when you get into the studio with your paints and pencils, don't think about what others will think of your work. Just do whatever makes your heart sing. And remember, you don't need any special talent or experience to create something truly beautiful. All you need is the desire to create something that feels right for you right now. Number 2. Drawing is a way to entertain your mind and forget about things. Let's face it, the world can be a stressful place. There are a lot of things that stress us out. Relationships, work, money, the list goes on and on. And when we are stressed out, it affects our whole lives, our moods and emotions, how we interact with others, how well we perform our jobs or take care of ourselves. But there is something you can do about it. Draw or paint. Drawing or painting is an activity that allows your mind to focus solely on the task at hand, which means that you don't have to think about anything else, not even what's stressing you out. By drawing or painting, you take your mind off of those things for a little while and allow yourself some time to relax and unwind. After a few minutes of drawing or painting, you'll find yourself feeling more relaxed than ever. Your mind will be clearer than it has been in days. Even better, you feel prepared to tackle those stressors head-on when they come back around again. Number 3. Art can soothe you in the way meditation does. When you're totally involved in the process of making art, you're doing an activity equivalent to meditation. As you concentrate on what you're creating, you shut yourself off from unwanted thoughts and become completely immersed in your project. This drives you towards the meditative state, which can clear your mind and make you feel less stressed. As your anxiety level subsides, so does your need for medication. If this sounds like something that would appeal to you, there are ways to make it easier. Consider creating a space where you can work alone and uninterrupted. A quiet corner of your home or an office at work are both good options if they're available. You might also want to invest in some music that helps set a contemplative mood. Just be sure not to play it loudly enough for people outside the room to hear. Number 4. It sharpens your ability to focus. If you're looking for a way to focus, we've got the answer. Grab a paintbrush. You might be wondering how this will work, since, let's face it, painting is usually pretty messy business. But don't worry, we've got that covered. We're going to give you some tips on how to keep your colors in place while still letting your mind wander as much as it wants. First things first, when you're mixing colors, take your time. The more time you spend blending them together, the more likely they are to stick where they belong. And that means less cleanup later on down the road, which is always good news. 
Plus, if you've picked your colors already and just want them ready for use, just put them in mason jars with lids on top so nothing spills out when you go to grab them later on down the road. Which also happens quite often. Are you liking the video so far? Before we get back, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get notified of our new uploads. Now let's get right back to it. Number 5. Colors are the masters of mood. You've heard that blue is the color of calm, but did you know that coloring geometric shapes can also induce a meditative state? According to research, coloring geometric shapes can help manage stress and anxiety by inducing a state of deep relaxation. This is why it's so popular in art therapy programs, which uses art as means of addressing mental health issues like PTSD. If you're feeling stressed or anxious, try picking up a coloring book and letting your mind wander through the lines and shapes. You might find that it has the same effect as meditation. The act of drawing or coloring shapes on paper is a way to focus attention on the present moment, rather than on the past or future. A technique known as mindfulness. The repetitive nature of this activity allows us to tune out everything else around us, allowing us to focus on our breathing and our movements without judgment. And while this may seem like an easy thing to do while sitting still in silence with nothing but a pen in hand, well, it's not always easy. But when we are able to slow down enough to focus on our breath and our movements without judgment, it's possible for us to experience a feeling of peace within ourselves. Number 6. A Means of Self-Expression Art is a powerful way to express emotions. Sometimes people feel the need to express their feelings but don't want to talk about them or articulate them in words. They might use art as a way of expressing how they feel and what's troubling them. Art can be a great outlet for emotions that are hard to put into words, or to help you understand your own feelings better. It's also a way of making sense of the world around you. So if there's going on in your life that's confusing or upsetting, it might be worth trying out some art making. Art doesn't have to be painting or drawing either. There are lots of other types of art out there too. Number 7. Art as a hobby is a great way to relax and unwind. Most people are too busy with work, family, and other responsibilities to have time for themselves. They need a hobby to engage in, something that they can do alone and enjoy. Drawing or painting is a great hobby because it allows you to express yourself in a way that few other activities do. You should make sure that you set aside some time each day for your hobby so that you can relax and be yourself. The first step is to find some good drawing or painting supplies. You can buy these at any art supply store. If you're just starting out, it's worth investing in a few good quality pencils and sketchbooks so that you can get started right away. Once you have your supplies together, it's time to start creating. It doesn't matter whether or not your drawings or paintings are perfect. In fact, imperfections are often what makes them so beautiful. The most important thing is that you enjoy creating them. Otherwise, what's the point? Number 8. Think outside the box. Making art is a great way to get in touch with your inner creativity. You start thinking outside the box, searching for new methods of self-expression, and even get to create something for someone you love. The thought of making something for someone you love itself is a really heartwarming thought. And when you actually involve yourself in the process, positive feelings take control of you and you feel happy and calm. You can use any medium or materials to create something beautiful out of nothing. You don't have to be an expert at drawing or painting. All it requires is a little bit of patience and dedication. If you are a beginner, then try doing simple things like drawing animals, flowers, and birds on paper first before moving on to more complicated designs like landscapes or portraits. Even if you don't think that it looks good enough when you finish drawing something, don't give up on yourself. Keep trying until you get it right. Hi everyone! Thanks so much for watching Mind State. If you found these helpful and enjoyed watching our content, please click like and subscribe. We'll always provide excellent takes on anything and everything. And also, we'd love to know about your thoughts, so leave a comment below. See you next time!